Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. While we've done a series of videos about uh, the Kindle ebook readers as well as the Nook ebook readers, you may have seen those before, and if not, feel free to search for them on Google, Kindle Locker Gnome or Nook Locker Gnome. Even though I'm writing this way, you'd see it that way because I'm I write right to left. Anyway, uh, Daniel Price one, as we were broadcasting this TLDR episode live, asked me what I thought about e ink. And uh, this Amazon Kindle, I won it in some contest. I've never purchased a, uh, an Amazon Kindle other than the Kindle Fire. I did buy that with my own money. Um, E-Ink is awesome. Uh, now, Jake Luddington in those series of E-Ink readers, or I guess e-book readers that use E-Ink as a display, uh, said that he can see the difference between E-Ink uh, display on one device versus another. I'm, I can't uh, as much. Um, so... This is e-ink, and what I love about e-ink is that it is crisp. It is clean. If you read, uh, you're better off reading on an e-ink display than you are on an LCD and, or an LED screen. Um, you can uh, eff effectively stave off fatigue. Uh, the text is going to be sharper. It's not going to require as much, uh, how, how do I, well, yeah, as much power, certainly. I mean, I, as odd as this is, uh, this had been completely drained. Um, the, this product is not on, by the way, it's off, uh, but it's still displaying uh, this particular picture at the last refresh. This is what they uh, were showing. The, uh, uh, the value of e-ink really is in reading. If you do read a lot, my recommendation is to go with an e-ink display, specifically an e-book, a dedicated e-book reader, rather than re relying on a smartphone or a tablet computer in, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, there's not a lot uh, that you can do with e-ink other than read, really, because it wasn't d designed to have uh, any kind of refresh rate, really. The uh, only refresh that you might see, let me go ahead and turn her on, uh, if it's going to wake up, there we go. Uh, and I can scroll between these pages up and down, and you can see the screen flashing there. Or at least, I, could you guys see the screen flash? I can't actually, with this one, because it's not touch-based, I can't touch the screen. But I can view it at just about any angle. It looks like printed paper, but it's actually e-ink. Uh, and it's designed for reading. If you do any amount of reading, going with an e-book reader, a dedicated one, is absolutely recommended. I mean, they're really affordable these days as well. In terms of which one? As I said, we already did videos, you know, kind of a shootout of sorts that will hopefully lead you down the direction of discovering which one that you want, uh, you know, more than any others. And despite me having a, a completely drained the battery, uh, it charged up pretty quick. It's about, uh, you know, and I just plugged it in just a few minutes ago, and it's about halfway charged up at this point. And it was completely drained beforehand. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, e-ink is good but really only if you're reading. If you plan on doing more than just reading, then you know, getting a dedicated ebook reader may not be something that you would want to do.